Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for Bring Who You Are. And this is our Bring Who You Are Moments of Gratitude as we hosted Dr. Lamar Price. And of course, he had an emergency with a client today that he was helping. But guess what? He gave us valuable information that we were able to share with you. And so when he comes back to the show, you'll get to ask him some live questions as we have our live Bring who you are. So here we go. We're going to get this thing started and popping so you can see what we've shared with you today. Check this out. Go back in life in retrospect. Think about when you were younger. When you were younger, there were some things that meant a lot to you, things that you wanted to do, and you would do whatever you can to get it because it meant that much to you. We had some quick fix remedy and you never went to the doctor. You are what you eat. If you eat healthy, you have to be healthy. Cause effect, action, reaction. Put healthy foods, fruits, vegetables, <laughs> nuts, grains, the earth, water. Put the earth inside your body. Your body metabolizes natural positive energy. You will thrive. Iridology is amazing. Iridology you're being diagnosed through your own eyes. Your brain records everything. You hit your knee, it hurt. Your brain recorded it. When you were born, there was trauma. Your brain recorded it. The eye is a window to everything going on to your body. Where do we go when we're sick? We go back home. 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 A house. There's safety. There's healing. The earth. Previously on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Mm. I'm going to hate this. No. Really? Greg, the doctor's here. You should come and listen, Brent. You need to change your diet. I created a drink that you could just drink this in the morning. Does it taste change. good? It tastes great. Try and get past the color. It's green. I'm okay yeah. with green. Health is well. Yeah. That's right. There you go. Thinking Dr. Lamar Price. Thinking Dr. Lamar Price. Wow, that was some information that dr price provided to us it was it was just amazing yes yes you know it, it was and i was sitting here thinking when we, we talk about gratitude there's so much um that i'm grateful for because i'm in a different place this year over last year because of dr price mm -hmm. and me listening to what yes. he told me to do and then i take my gratitude even further because my mom and i didn't share this in, in the show but my mom was wilting away day by day and I could see it. And I could see how sluggish she felt. She had no energy. She's been up. She has been doing things. She's been moving around more energy, but she did have to go through that, you know, that sluggish phase that we talked yes. about, but she feels better. Right. And so we will take it. We will take yes. every moment of feeling better and, and, and living your life to the fullest, right? Yeah, live your life to the fullest. See, that's the thing about what well, reason why I ask people to breathe because breath is life. Yes. And life is meant to be lived in full expression. Yes. You don't, when you don't breathe and take in, that's a God given thing. A God gives us the breath to be able to do. So we have to remember to breathe. And I want to say, that's why I end all my prayers with a glad heart of gratitude. Because mm -hmm. gratitude, when you don't have, it brings more to you. It attracts yes. more to you. So you praise and you give thanks for that which you already have. And today, what I'm giving thanks for is being a part of this platform and being yeah. a part of all the information that we are conveying. We are asking people to come to another level of living. All right. Yes. But That's with right. praise and with gratitude and doing it. And I know it's worked because one of the things that somebody talked about sugar and I know yes. I have the hardest right down time. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you pointing at me? Don't be pointing at me. Okay. <laughs> 
but, but sugar, 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 and I, I have to tell the story and then I'm gonna move on. When I lived, I've lived a lot of places and I lived in Nashville, Tennessee. All right. And what I would do with this, I would be on one side of Nashville, and then I always had to come to Murfreesboro Road because that in that area, that's where I live. Mm-hmm. And I would go to Baskin Robbins and buy a triple chocolate Ooh. Sunday. Ooh. Now you talk. Oh, girl, and, you talk. And eat it. And then I had eaten it. Before, and I'd go to the next one before I got home and tell her, oh, I had to take one home to my daughter. Okay. Ooh. And it's a, I was so addicted to sugar. And mm. I know, I, you know, coffee is something too that I have to yes. stay away from because I put the additives in it. And mm-hmm. I've had to really cut down on the sugar is a hard addiction to break. Yeah. All right. Yes. It is addictive and also bread. You know, we mm-hmm. talked about that, that everything. But the information that we gave today, if some people have not started and I want them to know it's a process. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. Because you can give information and you can sow a seed and sometimes the soil ain't ready for it. Okay. Right. You can, and so we have to remember to give people information and allow them to progress like I have over the years. Because yes, I used yes. to, as I told y'all before, I used to weigh 238 pounds. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it came from breaking some of the habits and asking God. God was the basis of changing my behavior. Absolutely. Wow. You know, I really yes. appreciate what you said, Imaja, and also uh, Pam, everybody, actually. Mm-hmm. This panel was very, uh, this session was very informative today. Mm-hmm. And um, we were, t- were talking about just wellness, health. And Imaja, I really appreciate you because sometimes at the course of my day, when something, you know, happens, I tell myself to breathe. I hear your voice. Yes. telling me to breathe. And then I, uh, people think that we're stranger. We're talking about domestication. We are yes. taught to do and walk in certain veins. And the, the veins that we're talking in is strange to people because yes. they are accustomed to a way of living. Yes. They're accustomed to a way of eating. And mm-hmm. so when we come and, and God has given us the, the knowledge to come with these tools that are going to bring health and wellness because God wants us to live. Does that make sense? He wants us to live healthy. And when I listen to you about, it sounds strange to some folks because when I first heard it, I'm just going to be honest. Okay. When Mm -hmm. you said you hug the trees, I said, okay, really? I'm just saying, (laughs) okay. I'm just saying you hugging trees now. What's wrong with her? Okay. I'm just saying, okay. I'm just saying, okay. But I'm just telling you how (laughs) If I'm thinking that way with my educated self, can you imagine folks out there media? She out there in the trees. I'm wondering what she's smoking. Okay, just be honest. Amen. Be honest. Amen. I told you I'm gonna be me, right? I'm gonna tell you. But when I saw, and I love water, Imaja, and I love nature. Yes. When you would bring and you would bless us with the videos of you walking and hearing the brooks and the streams, I yes. listen to that, and that brings me such peace, you yes. know, yes. and to breathe. And so, so and, and during the course of the day, okay, breathe, Cecilia, just breathe, just chill breathe. out, okay, breathe. And I remember, and that's why I said this panel has really enriched me and blessed me so much. You know, we all have a level degree of education that we're bringing to the table, but yes. we're learning so much more because we're coming away from the domesticated part, which yes. domestication in some sense is good, but it's the bad part, you see. And yes. so with, with us bringing new insight and we are kind of, we are educating media and the people are hungry out there. Oh yeah. They want to know because the stuff that they had, you know, it causes a lot of pain and they're just accustomed to doing it. So yes. you I just want to give you your props, Imaji. You're so refreshing to this girl. Okay. <laughs> because I'm just being honest, okay? Because I thought you was on hey, some man. stuff. And I said the girl needs a prayer. I just saying uh, yeah. hugging trees and things because yeah. I want to see a limb or two move. I want to see you hug you. Can I make y'all laugh? Since you hugging stuff, so, I want to see him hugging you. I'm just going there, okay? <laughs> so we got to get a snapshot, y'all. You know, this is this is our moment of gratitude with Bring You Are. We're going to get a snapshot coming up with Jemai just hugging, hugging a tree. <laughs> and we're going to put that into our broadcast because she's not she's not joshing. No, and no, she she's give not. appreciation to the world. And talking <laughs> about appreciation, Elijah is with us and he says appreciation is a masterful 
power to manifest more abundance. And guess okay. what? You are so right. And I'm super duper appreciative of you, my brother, because uh, he has a wonderful show and I'm going to be on his show soon. And I want to okay. share with you about his show. So if you have not mm -hmm. seen his show, and I'm sorry for the pop-ups, I can't control that, but this is his page. Go to his page and get with him because he has a wonderful show that comes on at 10 10. That's what I said. Is that 10 10? 10 a.m. or p.m.? 10 p.m. So for those of you that, that want to get on the show, make sure you get on his show because he is an amazing host. I've I've been on uh at 10 10 at night while he's interviewed some of his people i've talked with them and it's just been so pleasing and pleasurable and, and he's just an amazing person so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna share this with you all right quick if i may because if you the, the man has a wonderful spirit very spiritual very enlightening and so i'm gonna share this with you so i want you to come and check us out on his live show he he's he's got a show i'll be coming up on it show at 10 10 at night so y'all better be ready and and i want hey look elijah i want all the ladies from bring who you are to come on and and, and, and be there okay so i'm just, we'll I'm just saying, all right yeah. we'll be there won't we doxy we'll be there you know i'm just saying yeah. and, and that's I, eastern I'm standard you. time i'm feeling you pam <laughs> yes, it's Eastern Standard Time. And someone said gratitude is the best attitude. They say, I appreciate everything you all provide. Well, thank you so much. And they wanted to know what time zone. So I'll be on with Elijah at 1010. And I'll be talking with Elijah because we want to bring the whole tribe to bring who you are, the bring who you are our tribe to his show. Right? But 1010 because, Central Time? Yeah, 1010 Central time. 10 10 Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard. And Elijah, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was 10 10 when I joined the show. So, <laughs> so yeah, he's got a phenomenal show. So, thank you for stopping by. And also, I wanted to add um, no dairy. Dr. Price, he said it creates acid in the body, mm -hmm. especially for women of color. We've had a myriad of doctors who have confirmed through scientific research that. Women of color predominantly do not need to eat dairy. We need to stay away from dairy. And, and, and of course, for many, many years, even in our school years, which for some people was only 20 years ago, uh, Dr. Sims. But anyway, and Maja, I didn't include you in the 20 years because it's, it's, been, it's been 22 years for you. So come on now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, so cheese, dairy, dairy products are really not good, especially for women of color. Because if you look at most women of color, we don't typically suffer from osteoporosis. We don't. We're, we're bent over and things like that. Many other people in other cultures do suffer from that. But there is scientific data that I can I can share with you on a later broadcast that talks about that. So back to Dr. Price. Dr. Price is no joke. And if he said it, mm -hmm. I will believe it. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. That's it. That's yes, it. yes, yes, yes. Bottom line, that was I amazing. Mean, so. When he when he when he talks, it's just results. He just it's results. Period. That's it. We just have to act on it. That's all. You know. Yes, and, and yes. just be patient. You know, I, and I also appreciate that he's anointed. He truly is anointed. He's yes, gifted. Yes. He's gifted. He speaks four languages. He wow. reads the Bible in Hebrew. He's taking well over care of well over eight thousand some patients all of, all around the world. So he's he has um, he'll he'll tell us when he comes, but he has celebrity so tons of celebrity clients. Oh, his status of celebrity yeah. is phenomenal. Yeah, because that was Nene Leakes. Yeah, oh, that was Nene Leakes. And, and you know, and, and it's really amazing mm -hmm. because to look at her husband today with what he had to deal with. Uh, yeah. If Dr. Lamar hadn't stepped mm -hmm. in, I'm just going to be honest. You know, we you know we might have been talking a different story. But yes. because of what God has gifted him with and his desire to help, mm -hmm. you know, people to have a health and wellness life, that yeah. man looks awesome. You don't even, yeah. he doesn't even look like he's yeah. ever been ill. And he's got great energy. Cause let me tell yes. you, when, 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 when we, when we met him, we talked to him, we talked to him for 
like an hour and we had to cut it off because we wanted to be respectful of the man's time because he is so busy, so loving and so giving. Right. But he's got great energy, great yes. passion for people just to help people. And he dropped some nuggets on yes. us. Yes, that he did. Oh my I God. I would imagine just those nuggets he dropped is worth alone. millions of dollars alone. So when he comes, he's coming with knowledge, nuggets, and love that he's gonna give you, and you don't hear him clicking his little clicker okay that's gonna be thirty five hundred dollars that's gonna be no he don't good. do that yes and i just loved it in the first when i met him like the first meeting it was like a big warm embrace yes. Yes. yes yes that's yes. amazing yes. and he and he's not only the celebrity doctor to people like nini leaks but other people other big stars as exactly. well and everyday people. And that's what I love about him because mm -hmm. he is here to serve all people, mm -hmm. all generations mm -hmm. of all ethnicities. And one, of the that, one of the things that I want to say, the nugget that he dropped that I've been passing on. Yes. And I, cause I think about my own life that women are smarter than men. All right. <laughs> all right. Are we, still wait, 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 wait. Are, we, are we still broadcasting? He said, he said the yes. left brain and the right brain functions together yes. in women. Yes. And that a man only uses one side of his brain. And you yes. know, I said, okay, that makes sense. Because I always knew that. But he's the first <laughs> doctor that I ever heard that. You know, we, we as women have this intuitive sense. And I consider intuition my direct connection, my GPS to God. You know, that's yeah. what I consider it too. But when he said that, and I had to tell my daughter that, okay? Mm -hmm. I told my daughter that because it empowered her, all right? Mm -hmm. her to always remember, and you do not have to allow any male to run a circle around you because you already got it. You already got it. And it's exactly. not in a way to say that men are less than, but in a way for us to be on the queens that we are. All right. Come on. We are queens, and that from the beginning of time, mm -hmm. we were created to have this brilliance. I know I it took me a long time to embrace my brilliance because mm -hmm. I was domesticated, going back to being domesticated, that a woman's place is in the home, have babies, get married, 2.5 kids, a picket white fence, and all that other kind of stuff. But then I had to slowly walk into my gifts. And now I can embrace my brilliance and I bring my brilliance to the world. And I claim that sassy, sensual, soulful, badass person that I am. Oh. All right. All right. All right. So that I he gave empowered me even more. Okay. That's it. Good. That's it. That's and you know, the Excellent. beautiful and the beautiful thing about what you just shared, Yamaja, and I hope Eli Elijah is still with us because we're, we're not going to run away our men folk. However, everyone has a role to play. And with Dr. Price, he empowered us as women to help us understand our physiological makeup and the, the, physio the physiological structure of our brains and how right. our brains operate. And so that's, that's scientifically proven um, for women. And then for men, of course, you have a, a powerful role to play in terms of being focused and, and being uh, one um, one one lane focused on on getting things done, and you operate in your own power. But for us as women, what Jemaja said is so empowering. It really, really is. And so, Jemaja, thank you for bringing it up because that empowered me as well. Yes, um, mm -hmm. it, it truly empowered me. You know, and it's just so important that we understand our roles. And so, I'm so grateful uh, for him for, uh, yes. for sharing that. Yes. Something that Dr. Cecilia and, and, and Jemijah, and we all say this, I wanted to share this moment with you, especially for our young ladies that's listening in. Share this with your children. Yes, yes. Not just the little girls, but also the little boys, especially because of the climate that we're living in. So I'm going to share this little clip with you for those of you that think there is something that you cannot do. Just know that you can do all things mm -hmm. through Christ who strengthens you. Oh, so I'm going to share this with you very quickly because this really stood out when you said what you said, Jemijah, about 
our left brain and, and about women and how powerful we are. If we don't speak it into existence and yeah. act on it, no one else will. So I want right. to share this clip exactly. with you. Now we exactly. don't own the rights to this clip from the hidden figures, but I want to share this with you. Here goes. Mary, a person who engineers the mind should be an engineer. You can't be a computer the rest of your life. Mr. Zelensky, I'm a natural woman. I'm not going to entertain the impossible. And I'm a Polish Jew whose parents died in a Nazi prison camp. Now I'm standing beneath a spaceship that's going to carry an astronaut to the stars. I think we can say we are living the impossible. Let me ask if you were a white man, would you wish to be an engineer? I wouldn't have to. I'd already be one. <laughs> I'm not mad at her. So don't let anything stop you. It no. doesn't matter where you're no. from. It doesn't matter the color of your skin. It doesn't matter your sex or sexual orientation. Never let anything stop you and never let anyone stress you into being something that you don't want to be, whether it's the engineer or whatever, and not being what you want to be. Because you can be anything you decide to. You just got to put your mind to it. So with that being said, nuggets have been dropped. We pray that your heart has been open and your mind has been open to receive. And we want to invite you back again. Yes. On October 30th for domestication of leadership. Bring who you are. And we will see you next time with light and love. We appreciate you. Have a great day. Thank you for joining our show and join us again on October 31st, where we will be discussing the domestication of leadership. Take care and always bring What another awesome show at Bring Who You Are. Myself and the Bring Who You Are tribe, we are so happy and thankful that you join us during all of our broadcasts. So what I'd like to do with you today is ask you to do one thing, and it only takes a little finger. Take this finger and click this button right here, and we will tell you about the shows that's coming up for you. We'll see you next time here with the Bring Who You Are tribe. Until we see you again, remember to always bring who you are.